Carlos here with Anthony from Isles, and I just met Anthony. I mean, a lot of cool people here, and I wanted to, uh, I don't even know if I'm getting this right, but uh, I wanted Anthony to have the chance to explain his role within Isles, which he's at one spot right now, but it sounds like he moves around mm -hmm. and maintains a lot of, oh, thanks, Justin. Um, so yeah, so that he has a chance to talk about his role, which sounds integral in the whole, whole uh, flow of things here in Trenton, community guarding and, and beyond. Okay, um, I'm with the Owls crew here at Owls, we're cleaning green. Um, we go from lots to different parts of the city, um, beautifying lots that's overgrown with dumping. Um, we interact throughout the neighborhood. We try to get um, the residents involved um, with the facilitation of it and beautifying the neighborhood. Um, besides just um, going through clean out lots, we also plant flowers, trees. We help our neighbors that's also interested in beautifying the area. And there's a lot of groups that, um, neighborhood groups that we join in with um, through Owls. And we make a lot of friends and a lot of connections to it. Um, city also gives us, um, you know, advisory about different areas that they can't actually get to. So we pick up the slack with that. Um, and other than that, you know, we just go out to the city and just take care of the city of Trenton. So I got a question to start yeah. it off. So what have you been doing for a few years now? How long have you been guys been clearing lots out? Uh, we've been clearing lots now going on three years. So what have you noticed in some of these areas that from knowing how it was in bad shape mm -hmm. to seeing how it is now and you guys keeping it, what, what, what have you noticed has changed in the neighborhood around those gardens and those spaces? I want to say that actually the attitude of the neighbors, that, that the residents that live in that area. You know, you have a lot of senior citizens that try to get out and plant gardens, you know what I mean? And they'll ask about it a lot, we'll clean it, and they, they take pride in them. And usually they'll, they'll actually keep, keep it up themselves. And we'll just come back and we'll cut it regularly. Uh, we'll, be, we'll be cleaning one time, we'll come out, we'll cut it for the first time. Next thing you know, you have neighbors coming out, cleaning their properties next to it. Mm -hmm. So that's like, as if we're motivating them. Yeah, yeah. So then they'll come over and like, excuse me, excuse me, baby, can you help me do this? So, you know, we, we, will know, we always want to help, them, you know. And then by then you become, you get them on first name basis with them so they know your routes, so they know when you're coming through. So they'll have the grandkids out with their little, little brooms and we'll come and help with you fire it up. And, you get cold water at the end of the day and stuff. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Sometimes fed too, right? Yes. Yeah, yeah. You know, so my favorite. Beautiful. You know, then you have a you may have a, a a street where no one's no one's collaborating, no one's doing anything, but as soon as we pull up and they hit the lawnmowers going, now you look back two years ago, now you look, now they're planting their own flowers. Now they're asking for flowers. Now we're bringing them flowers. So it's a beautiful thing. And that, that's good, and I like that you use the word beautification because that's kind of an overlooked thing. I feel like sometimes, mm -hmm. like oh, that can be like kind of the way art is sometimes right. overlooked. And I know Isles has an art component, which we're going to talk about in a little bit. But um, that's that's really important because if you're focusing on that, and then like you said, people start to get pride of place and mm -hmm. realize, oh, I could clean this, up. and then suddenly, you know, your living environment's that much different, and your exactly. psychology is different, and. A lot of things are changing, so. And you know, now we have the guys, inner city guys, but if they're doing something wrong, whether it be crime or whatever, now we've cleaned the lots. You know, at first it was like, yo, don't go in that lot, I have my stuff in there. Now it's like, all right, man, here you come, man. As if we're the police, you know, the, the, the land, landscape police or something, you know, so they just respect They know that you're not gonna take them away though, so they're okay with you guys there. Yes, they're yeah. not gonna run. They'll right. just be like, oh, you guys are around, okay. I'll let y'all go ahead and clean it. <laughs> I'm not know, gonna. Yeah, we're satisfied <laughs> with that. You know, we're just in the clean it, you know what I mean? It's that the shoes feel good about coming out, you know, in the rains and seeing the flowers pop up. And the, the younger cats, they shouldn't respect that. I mean, you see the elderly in the neighborhood, you know, respect what, they're, what we're doing and respect the fact that, that the elders are respected and loving it. So they take a pride into it. So now they have other guys that come around. You don't throw that down there, man. Pick that up. So, you know, it's a trickle down effect. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So it seems like, uh, from my perspective of it, from my experience, it seems that these guys that are out there, girls that might not be. Oh. Yeah. They might be doing some of the crime out there. Again, they're not seeing them as the police, so they're more of like a good cop that comes out as like a community member cop that's not out there like just wandering. Yeah. They're out there trying to make connections yeah. and fighting crime that way. Um, so these guys are out there. They're not trying to get these guys in trouble. They don't want them doing what they're doing there, but just the work they're doing helps to dissipate some of that. Yeah. So they're not out there directly trying to be like, all right, you come with me, or like calling up, be like, oh, get these guys, they're over here. They're not doing any of that. They're just changing their environment and hoping to change the perspective yeah. and then have, the, again, the ripple effect. Yeah, that. it's beautiful. It happens very organic, I feel like. It's it's just yeah. nice to watch yeah. this grow. So, all right, we'll, uh, do you want to get right into our video no, now? I think we'll or? cut it. I think okay, we'll, yeah, we'll cut all right, it we'll do a third video. Point.